कंटेस्टेंट नंबर सेवन गैविय देवश्री द टॉपिक इज विजन एंड विजन आई रिपीट कंटेस्टेंट नंबर सेवन गैविय देवश्री द टॉपिक इज विजन एंड विजन गैविय देवश्री द स्टेज इज योर्स Imagine if you have to make a choice between being blind and being deaf. What will be your choice? Distinguished Toastmasters and charming Gavilliers, a cool good evening to one and all. Most of us will choose being deaf. Do you know why? Because we can continue to smile when others call us nuts. However, being blind is not our choice because we cannot cheat on our exams. Jokes apart, being blind is a devastating experience. However, what is worse than being blind is having vision without a vision of life. One day, As my uncle was talking with my dad, sipping a steaming cup of tea, he asked me, "Devishri, what's your vision in life?" My response was, "Because I was clueless about my passion, purpose, or vision." During the last summer holidays, my father took me to a small factory. near my hometown in india to show me the production process there because he is a proud production engineer but a secret without his eye glasses he cannot tell a dog from a wolf on our way to the factory i saw a blind woman with her new born baby begging at a traffic signal to fill their hunger in that hot summer it was because they did not have a stable income although she knew that hot weather might be fatal for her new born baby i let it slide thinking it was their fate but upon entering the premises i heard <coughs> from what i saw shattered my heart i saw a hungry baby crying for food within seconds a blind woman at work the mother of the crying baby was led to feed the baby soon the baby stopped crying and smiled at his blind mother on moving around the factory with my father i was shocked and emotionally moved to see blind women from economically marginalized families packing powdered spices among them were sad single mothers widows and fragile old women making a living working 8 hours a day i was astonished by how the employer's mission made an impact on the lives of those vulnerable women he helped them restore their hope and faith in humanity he had a vision to rewrite the stories of those less fortunate mothers i broke my usual silence and asked my father father these people with no vision have chosen to work my father replied Look, Devishri, physical vision helps you see things around you, but an empathetic mission with a well-defined vision helps you reach out to others to build an inclusive society. My father's words of wisdom and the employer's mission and vision inspired me to unlearn and relearn the realities around me. 
our vision should not be so narrow that we will only become doctors, teachers, engineers, or scientists. Friends, next time when someone asks you, what do you want to be? Be brave enough to say, I want to be someone with a broad vision to make life around me a level playing field. You can start to develop your vision of inclusiveness right now in your student days. Now, I have a vision driven ambition. During my leisure times, I visit and support an institution in my neighborhood, specially organized for children suffering from dyslexia and teach them reading and writing. Their ability to read and write has improved tremendously. Fellow Gavaliers, you can help similar students in their learning problems in your own classes to achieve this level playing field. When I grow up, I want to become a successful businesswoman to give hope to the visually impaired people. Friends, Today is the day to define our broad visions. Today is the day to kickstart our journey towards our visions. Today is the day to reaffirm our commitments towards our vision. Our visions may not match others' expectations. They should be meant to make life around us level. Friends, as future leaders of the world, we should never ever blindfold ourselves. Let's look around for sources of inspiration. Let every inspiring story broaden our visions. Let's leave behind a legacy for generations to come. Shall we? Over to you.